Yo, 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 guys, what is up? It's your boy JRDN back on the channel with another Forza Horizon 3 video, and we are carrying on the Let's Play. We're on episode number 24, and we are rocking a new car. We are using a Red Bull liveried McLaren P1. We're going to try and use a different car for every episode. That's going to be the plan anyway. We are starting it off a little bit different this episode. We are going straight in with a bucketless challenge using what looks like the warthog from halo which is sick which is sick let's see what we've got to do search for the silent cartographer 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 in the m12s warthog i have no idea what that means okay just race to the destination we can do that we can if we get the gears right. So, I have no idea how far we have to go because it does not tell us. I just know that we have a two minute target. So, let's go. This thing looks the bee's knees. I cannot wait to be able to win this from the next Forza Fun event next weekend. It's going to be sick and it's going to save me 600 grand. Which is always nice. Right, we've just seen it there. We are 2.9 kilometres away. We're not following the track. We're going off-road. Yeah, buddies! We're going off-road in the hog, Bouncing left, right, everywhere. There's nothing that can stop us in this thing. Look at it go. It's powering through these trees. Not that one though. That one does not move. Yeah, this is episode 24, guys. So, next episode is going to be the third and final Barn Find Special. We have found 10 of 5 so far. We have the remaining 5 on the map ready to be found. So, next episode, we'll be collecting the last 5 Barn Finds. So, we'll collect the previous 5. We will then use one of them to go hunt down the final five. So if you want to see them, which ones we find, be sure to subscribe. The video will be out a few days after you're watching this one. So it's not one to be missed. And here we are. We are coming up to the finish. Oh shit. We are actually very close. Come on, Warthog. Four, three, two. Whoa, 2.2 seconds left. Whew, wiped the sweat off my brow after that one. Jesus. Not many credits. Not much XP. But we're all about the fans. Look at it. It's just climbing. 9.1 million. That's all I'd see. Now we're going to find a few races for the P1 to decimate. See how that bad boy handles. We've got it upgraded for grip. X-Class, I believe, all-wheel drive. Looks like it's going to be a monster. And it's Red Bull, so it's got wings. So we're going to win anyway. We're just going to fly. So let's see where we can go. We don't want to do a championship, ideally. We don't want to do a cross-country. Here we go. We finally found one. I thought I was going mad. I thought we'd done them all somehow. Because it keeps saying it's new because you need to do a championship, which we don't. We are after exhibition. So we're going to do the sweeping forest sprint race. Let's get over there now. Here we go, guys. Horizon presents sweeping, sweeping, sweeping forest sprint. We've got the Red Bull P1 on that unbeatable difficulty. All-wheel drive. Let's see what this bad boy launch is like. Pretty quick. Excuse me, smashed zebra. Holy shit. I wasn't expecting this. Feel like unbeatable. You can literally nail the corners and the AI are just... Well, AI, they're just... Ridiculous, they corner so like there's no way I am cornering that without breaking. I mean, I know my racing line isn't very good, but they're just that is very unrealistic. 
I mean, it's not a realistic game, but you know what I mean? There used to be a certain cutoff, like, they're going around that without even breaking that. 80% in 8th place. Oh, dear. Come on, P1, get around this corner. Ah, we're going to have to restart, guys. Eighth, that's horrendous. I feel like the problem is that because we're at an X class, it bumps them up. Ah. Oh. It bumps them up to a difficulty that's harder. If you can just get a tune that keeps you at 998 in the S2, you then top of S2, and I think it makes it not easier, but so that they're all either same or below you, because at the minute, I mean, look at that, three people have just taken me on the outside, and first is gone. Vulcan helping us around that corner, thank you very much. If we can hold a podium finish, I will be happy. Just got to find a way to sneak past this Vulcan. Thank you very much. Holy shit, what is that? Oh, and like that, we are down to fifth. That is crazy. Come on, there we go. We've got third. It's not first, but we'll take it. We'll take it, because we was a whole three seconds behind first, which is crazy. I think for the next event, I'm going to try and find a tune that drops it down to a 998. See how we get on then, see if we can start picking up first. Because that's what we should be aiming for. But, man, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. We'll try and stay away from the X-Class. That's, that's the plan. Stay away from the X-Class cars. If we're going to go high, go to 998. Hey Jordan, there's another driver who'd be perfect for your lineup. Oh, okay. The driver will be somewhere around Jesus. here. Um, yeah, about that. Let's not bother. Let's head over to this Yara Valley undiscovered route, see if having a 998 class, an S2 class car makes a difference. So we'll head over there, to see how we get on. When it is safe to do so. Here we go guys, Rainforest Circuit, Yara Valley event, 998 S2 McLaren P1, over a thousand horsepower, all wheel drive, Let's see if it has the goods. Come on. Let's see if it's made a difference. So far, this is looking very promising. We are up into third already. Now, we struggled to hold third in the other races because we was getting out of corner. Now, we've got a new tune on as well. Come on. Going into the final lap. First and second are absolutely gone, so we've done it again. Let's see if we can recover. We recovered, we recovered. Right, let's just hold a podium finish. We're not going to catch first or second. They are oh, messing the gears up as well. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We cross the line. It's not another first place, which I'm disappointed about, but a podium will do. That is what we're after, and we was a whole six seconds behind this time, although that seemed a little bit easier to get a podium finish. It's still not a first. I just don't think the P1 is good for these sort of tight-knit races. 
I think it's just all about speed, this car. And cornering just isn't its forte. So, again, podium finish is all we're aiming for. And we've got that. So, let's head over. And I think we are going to attempt another midnight battle. Now, we have the RX-7. We have the Lamborghini Murcielago. We're going to go for the Lamborghini Murcielago. We already have it, but we're going to go for it. Pick up a free one, which is always oh, nice. Let's go. Right, let's go. We want to pick up our second Murcielago. We got one from a wheel spin, but we're never going to say no to a free car. So let's go. Holy Jesus, that thing is going. And we are in the rain, which is not going to help. Let's see how this P1 goes. Ah, oh, look at these corners. Just when I was saying corners are not the P1's forte, we've got all these really sharp corners. What's all this about? The only saving grace is we did not pay full price for the P1 because I am not liking it at all. Luckily, we picked up an absolute bargain on the auction house and we only paid 900 grand for it. Now, a bit dirty racing there into the side of the Mercilago, using him as a barrier to get us around that tight corner and we're out into first with him still on our arse though so we cannot be complacent. Come on. Trying to block him off around those corners. Shut him out. That's the plan. They normally stick to the racing line. So if we can just get in the way of the racing line, they're going to stay behind us. Now, the next thing is that the finish is just up here and he's got the legs on the P1. We've blocked him. Oh shit, that's not a finish. Oh dear. Watch those headlights. Come on. Oh, boys. My butthole was going then. Jesus. Whew. You do not get much closer than that. I nearly let off at that second to last checkpoint as well, thinking that was the finish. Holy cow. Bit of dirty racing to get the win. Doesn't matter. We are walking away with a Lamborghini added to our garage for free. There's nothing sweeter. And we're going to get a wheel spin. What are we going to get, though? What are we going to get? Oh, my God. My wheel spin look is shite at the minute, guys. Oh, baby. Look at it. It's got more fins than the space shuttle. Bet it can move, though. If you want to take it for a spin, you know where I am. Oh, so nice. Wide body kit. Bright yellow. You beauty. That is what we like to see. Ooh, knocking those midnight battles off. I think we're going to call it a day there, guys. We did a few more races. Won our second midnight battle, which is always nice. Picked up a free Lamborghini Murcielago SV, which is always nice. If you are watching the video up until this point, thanks for being here. I want to get a bit more sort of viewer communication going on with you guys. So if you are watching it at this point, just write down in the comment section now, what is your best car in Forza Horizon 3? Which one do you find yourself using the most? I'm interested to know what your guys' favourite cars are. Next episode, with it being Let's Play number 25, we are going to have a bomb find special. Collect the last five remaining bomb finds, which are all ready and waiting on the map. So if you want to see that, see what cars we go and find, be sure to subscribe. The video should be out a few days after you're watching this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it. If we could smash five likes on the video, that would be absolutely insane. I'd love you guys a long time. And as always, guys, have a great day, an amazing week, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.